This is an M-rated game, so viewer discretion is advised. Slay away camp, butcher's cut. First off, a little behind the scenes confession. I am really looking forward to uploading this video to YouTube. I'm curious if YouTube will flag this for restricted ads. It's one of the most random systems. For example, my last review got flagged. It was a word search simulator. But I guess maybe some of those words were risque. No, they weren't. It was completely nothing. I don't have a clue why they flagged it. Have you ever wanted to play a game where you're the killer who has to take out innocent victims while playing into every 80 stereotype there is? Well, you're in luck, because that's pretty much what this is. This is a puzzle game. The whole idea is that what if the killers from the movies could only move in a horizontal or vertical way? In this reality, the villain's weakness is anything blocking them to the goal. Curse you table that's in my way! Urgh. You need to kill all the victims to get the exit to open. Sometimes getting your character to the exit is not as easy as it sounds. You're going to need careful movements because you might need to save a kill for last so you can get the right angle to get to the exit. There is the normal game of just getting around the map, but there's also different gimmicks like limiting your turns to water hazards or even cops that will arrest you if you get in front of them. But if you slide right by them, yeah, they don't care. The art style is very blocky, so it's not realistic at all. It's kind of like someone said, let's make a Minecraft puzzle murder game. It was amusing to see a lot of the famous kills from horror movies recreated in a blocky way. You can turn off the blood if you want. It lets you choose in the beginning of the game. However, since the whole point of the game is to be a serial killer, I doubt you'll go for the less bloody route. The levels are broken down into movies that you're completing. They are just parody titles. The more you kill and finish levels, the more money that you'll earn, which you can use to unlock new death moves or character skins for your killers. If you get stuck on a puzzle, you can buy a hint, or you can buy a walkthrough to show you how it's done. In fact, the price wasn't bad. In fact, I would say it was way more reasonable than I expected. Whenever I use this feature, I always use it more as a hint towards the beginning of the actions I need to do. I never use it to get to the end, as that would just be boring. But you could if you really want to. After you finish the level, you do a final death move for extra coins. This has you clicking on a button at the right time to do the kill. What happens if you don't do it right? The person gets away, and you don't get those extra coins. The puzzles were definitely clever. You really need to plan out your moves before you make your first step. You can change the angle of the camera to make it a little bit easier to see the obstacles around you, but overall I preferred to play it in a 3D-esque way it was presented. You can reverse any move that you made or restart the level anytime you want without any penalties. So don't be afraid of trying different ways to finish the level. Most often, the direct approach isn't the best way. Slay Away Camp Butcher's Cut was amusing and fun to play. I wasn't expecting to like the limitations that it put on me to solving a puzzle, but I do think it's fair enough to not make it annoying to play. It has a lot of charm throughout it, and if you're a horror fan, there's a lot of stuff in here that'll make you smile. So I do think it's worth a buy. It doesn't have a lot of replayability unless you like unlocking everything. However, it's quirky enough for any horror fan or puzzle fan to enjoy.